What's up guys, welcome to another beautiful day in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I've got a pretty uh, different video coming at you guys. Um, I want to talk about, a little bit about money. Um, everyone knows that money, everyone needs money, right? Uh, most people are working, um, you know, like, just say like nine to five on weekdays for five days a week. Usually like about six hours a day they're working behind a desk, usually. Um, for minimum wage, even, um, I know people, especially teenagers, um, working at fast food restaurants for like seven twenty-five an hour. It's like there's got to be a better way to make money, you know, instead of slaving away at those jobs. Well, today I'm here to talk about that. Um, I've been doing it for probably two years now. Um, it's honestly the fastest best way, most fun way to make money without having to work. Um, I'm going to talk about that a little bit after I show you this new bike I picked up. Um, okay, so, oh, and also sorry for the heavy breathing, it just ran a little bit. Uh, can I get the exercise in? But uh, also I'm taking this video because Charlie's gone for today, so we couldn't really do a motor vlog. He's with my dad getting cleats for football because that starts in a couple weeks. Um, so anyway, this is a Suzuki TC125. Um, from 1975. It is immaculate. Um, it is so clean. If you guys look at that, I mean, it is. Look at that tank in there. Even the inside. It's crazy. Let's get the key out. Oh, it's left on. Crap. Oop. Super clean on the inside. Pure metal. No rust. The seat is super clean. Let's put the key back in there. Um, let's go underneath this. Underneath here. Look at these wires. Those are from 1975. All original. Gauges. All original. 6,000 miles on it. Newer tires, I think. I mean, it is a beautiful bike. Guys, guess how much I bought this for? Guess how much I bought this for? $250. $250. Guy in Sheboygan sold it to me. Now, back to my main point about the money. Okay, let's let's just say let's let's say you work five days a week, six hours a day. So six hours a day, five days a week. Let's say you make ten dollars, ten dollars an hour. So what is that? Ten times six, that's sixty, and then sixty times uh, five, because you work five days a week. That's $300 a week you're working if you want the weekends off. If you don't want the weekends off, then that's another $120. But uh, anyway, so you get $300 per week. Minimum wage was uh, um, 725 times 6 times 5 was uh, like 218 Now, would you rather do what I'm going to say next or work at a fast food restaurant? Just think about this for a little while. Okay, so I found this bike for $250 on Craigslist. I know, because I'm into motorcycles, that this bike is easily worth probably $800. Now, I could easily put it for $500 and sell it the next day, which <laughs> is an instant profit of, what, $250? So just, just think about that. I picked one day that took an hour to get, I had to pick it up from Sheboygan, which is an hour away, so technically two hours to get. I worked two hours, and I could pretty much instantly make $250, which is what most people make in a week. Or, you know, people say you're lazy for not working, you should get a real job. I say work smarter. You know, not more. I think that's the best way to go. So... If you guys want some more tips on how to make money on Craigslist, just uh, hit me up um, in the comments. Uh, just, you know, send me a message. If you're in high school and need some extra money, I'll give you tons of tips. <sighs> oh, mosquitoes eating me up. I'll give you guys tons of tips. I'll give you some right now, too. Um, 
But if you guys need extra help, just hit me up in the comments. I'm all about helping people. Um, I don't want to just do this for myself. There's plenty of bikes to go around. Everyone's buying and selling. And the best part is there's always a buyer. You've got the old pe older people in the 40s, like, you know, around that age who own these bikes back in the day, who want them again. Now, that's instantly a buyer. They will pay top-notch dollar if it's close to them. They don't want to drive a far away to get a bike, you know. Um, so that's one good point. So let's just say I pick up two bikes a week. And let's just say you make $250 on the lease per bike. Let's say you pick up... Um, you could even pick up mini bikes for 150 and sell them for 300. You pick up two mini bikes, uh, make a profit of 300 on the pair. I mean, guys, it's easy money, easy money. Right now, I probably make, I don't wanna say the exact number, but let's just say over $1,000 probably a week selling bikes. Um, it's, guys, it's so, anyone can do it, is what I'm saying. You don't have to be that smart. You just have to know a little bit about bikes. So let me go through a couple things that you should look for when buying a bike, which should help you guys out a lot. This is perfect for anyone in high school, anyone in college looking for the extra paycheck to pay rent or anything. Um, perfect for adults looking to make money on the side, or even you could even make a living out of this. I'm selling parts on eBay and stuff. So what to look for? The first thing I look for is an ad on Craigslist. That's obviously the first thing you do. You look for a bike that is cheaper. It might need a little repair work um, or something like that. It doesn't need to have a title either. Most people assume it needs to have a title. You can get a bond a title if you really want it. It's not that hard. Okay. So depending on where you live, whatever, whatever, bikes are worth a certain amount. In Wisconsin, usually this bike with a title is worth around $1,000, okay? And it popped up on Sheboygan yesterday for 400 Next tip is kind of mention to the guy how much work it needs and what it's going to cost to get it running again. Um, like me, I would say, oh, it needs a carb clean that's worth like $30 of time, it needs some spark plugs, it needs some oil, that kind of stuff. So I got the guy down to 250 and I'm like, I can pick it up tonight. See, this is another important thing. You need to have time to go and get it when the bikes are available. Um, that's another important thing. But I instantly look for, I check, this is the first thing I do. I get there, I check for compression. Obviously the spark plug isn't in it. Um, did this so you guys could see if it has spark or whatever. But okay, so you check for compression. If it's hard to kick over, that's perfect. It has good compression. You can even put your thumb over the spark plug hole and if, if it blows it off, it means it has good compression. Or if you have a compression tester, you can bring that with and test. Usually over 120 PSI is good. Not the greatest, but good. Um, you can always take apart the top cylinder and do the rings and whatever, but um, that's the first thing. So check for your compression. Second, spark. You want to check for spark. So you, you take the spark plug out, ground it to the frame, kick over the engine, if, and if you see a big fat blue spark, you, you're good to go. So now you've got compression and spark. Um, the second thing I look for it, or the third thing I look for is if, if the carburetor looks kind of clean. You know, that's the third thing you need is gas. And usually at bike sitting, they're gonna get kind of gunked up in there with the ethanol gas and everything that people use. Um, so the, yeah, usually those carburetors always need to be clean. So one tip is always clean the carburetor, <laughs> obviously. Um, look, I mean, you can check out my previous videos. I teach you guys how to clean carburetors. You can look up, the, they're all pretty much the same. There's, there's a pilot jet, a main jet. I mean, that's pretty much it, you guys. If the pilot jet's clogged, that's usually the main problem. Or if the, um, let's see, the float is sticking, that could be another problem. That's why gas is leaking out. Um, so the carburetor is usually the main problem. But guys, so if you have compression, you have spark, and you get the fuel from the carburetor, it's going to start. You're gonna have a running bike. So now you've got a running bike. It instantly goes up a couple hundred dollars in value, and that's when you sell it. Get it running, you sell it right away. I mean, you can ride it around if you, if you want for a little while, but why risk breaking it again? Get it running perfect, post it on Craigslist in probably like five different areas around you, 
so everyone can see. You, you'll be having calls. You'll be getting calls every day offering different offers. Don't take less. You know, you could, on Craigslist, they're kind of goofy. Um, usually if you post pretty high, they offer you like half. So you're going to have to post pretty high and then take a good offer. If you make 200, you make 200. If you make 100, you make 100. If you make 300, you make a three, 300. If you make 50, you make 50. I mean, whatever. But, um, you know, just think about this. It makes sense to buy and sell bikes. All the viewers of this channel obviously are into motorcycles. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching. So, if you have a passion for it, would you rather be flipping burgers at a fast food restaurant and wasting away your life or buying bikes, learning how to fix them, and selling them for a profit, making more than what you would make at a fast food restaurant working there? Just think about that. You learn business skills, dealing with people, communication skills. Um, you have to bargain with people, which is another business skill. When to sell the bike, you know, you have to be smart about it. This, this is a lot better than learning how to flip burgers at a fast food restaurant. Believe me. Um, I've actually never had to have a real job, really. Um, I've always been my own boss. Um, I, I hate working for people. Um, I really like to take control of my own future, and it really depends on how much you want to work. The work you put in is the success you're going to see in the future. So if you put two, two hours into work, you might only see a couple hundred dollars. If you put Let's say you put 10 hours a day into buying bikes, going to pick up bikes, listing them on Craigslist. You buy five bikes a day, list them all for a profit of 350. You guys do the math. What is that? $1,500 a week? I mean, you just have to look on Craigslist. Find the bikes for cheap. There are all kinds of things out there. If you don't like bikes, sell chainsaws. If you don't like chainsaws, sell bicycles. If you don't like bicycles, sell vintage bikes stuff anything vintage is worth something guys silver coins coins magazines newspapers the list goes on and on um, you could part out bikes for more on ebay the the sky's the limit so i just wanted to make this quick video charlie's gone um, the moto vlogs will continue tomorrow i'll probably upload a video tomorrow oh my god i picked up another bike too guys that'll be a surprise in the next video so look forward to that uh, it's a pretty sweet bike. We're going to race it again with the Ducati. And this will probably be like the best race ever. <laughs> no kidding. Um, so I might do another contest for this one. Because I know it's going to be a really, really close race. So I might have to do a contest. Um, leave a comment if you want more help figuring out how to sell bikes. Um, it's super easy, guys, once you get the hang of it. So just give me a comment. Give me a like if you like this video. Um, subscribe. And uh, let me know if you guys want to do that contest. I'm going to have the shirts available, I think, in like a week. I'm going to release the design and everything. I just have to set up a design thing and a website and everything for everything to download and the shipping and everything, whatever. Um, that's a different day. But anyway, look forward to the next video. It will continue on track again tomorrow. This video is just to help anyone out struggling with money or struggling um, trying to find out what they want to do in their life. Um, and this actually, working on motorcycles actually helped me to become what I wanted to be. Um, it led me to a career in engineering, which I am currently doing, going to school for. So everything happens for a reason, guys. If you get into this and start making money, it's it might be your thing, you know. So you could open up your own business. You could go to engineering school. You could work for a company. You could be a mechanic. The list goes on and on. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time. We're out.